Welcome to Finding Respect in the Chaos. I'm Cynthia Sinclair. It's wonderful that you've joined us today. I have two very special guests that I'm very excited to introduce. Jasmine and Jade Baker, thank you so much for coming. Thanks, now, Cynthia. Now, I've had you guys on my show before. Yes, you have. And <laughs> it was when you were doing the human trafficking stuff. Yes. You are doing so much stuff all the no. time. I'm really <laughs> proud of you. So proud of you. I've loved watching you over this last year mm -hmm. as you've just gone on to do so many wonderful yes. things. So right now you have a new initiative that you're working on and I, I want do. you to please tell me all about it or t tell us, I should say, all about it. So for one, I am your 2019 Teen Miss Pacific Ocean and I, I had the opportunity to represent Hawaii in Vegas this past month. Yes. And I work with diverting crayons from landfills. So not many people know, but it actually takes 90 years for a crayon to biodegrade in our environment. Wow. Exactly. That's that crazy. was everyone's reactions at nationals. Yes. And whenever you go to IHOPs or Denny's, mm -hmm. a lot of the places where they right. use one time these crayons, right. people don't automatically think about what happens to these crayons after your children are done coloring or playing with them. Right. Because right. you've been to Denny's and IHOP. You mm -hmm. saw the kids coloring, right? Oh my gosh. Just I just spent three weeks with my granddaughter <laughs> exactly. everywhere yeah. we went. Everywhere. That's what they do. And I didn't mm -hmm. know that was one time use, but of course, because then Otherwise, germs go everywhere, and so yeah. they have to just throw them away. Oh, my gosh. So we okay. coordinate with working with these restaurants and hotels to mm -hmm. divert the crayons from landfills, and we work with two organizations, one being Crayon Initiative, and their focus is to, again, set up boxes all throughout IHOPs and Denny's right. and to collect the crayons from the children that are broken down, and we remelt them to brand new ones to give them to children in hospitals. Oh, that's so sweet. And you know, <laughs> hospital kids. I think we've got some pictures of the Crayon Initiative too, right? Mm -hmm. That we can we can look at and yeah, there you go. Yeah. There's one of the boxes. This is Crayon so Collection. The, yeah. so, oh, this is Crayon Collection. Yeah. So there's actually two different ones? Yeah. Okay, so tell us about both of them. <laughs> the second organization is Crayon Collection. And of course, we also focus on diverting crayons from landfills. And we get the crayons from the restaurants and we get the crayons that are still usable and not broken, and we give them to low-income schools all throughout Hawaii. Yes, nice. which is super awesome because yearly teachers spend about nine hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. This is what statistics tells us. Wow! Out of their pockets to make sure that their classrooms have things like crayons. So when we go in and we take those one-time use crayons from places like IHOPs and Denny's, like we said, mm -hmm. we're able to give those teachers crayons for their students. Right then and there. Yeah. Which is so important for kids. Oh, absolutely. Crayons are everything. I know I was playing with crayons I was all, yeah, all day. Yeah. <laughs> for the last three weeks, yeah. I've been playing with crayons. Absolutely. And they're so much fun. Mm -hmm. And it's so important for kids, especially in hospitals that have nothing to do. Exactly. It's a creative right? outlet to express themselves mm -hmm. and how they're feeling. Right. A lot of the times we grow up yeah. and we don't really know what the new emotions we're experiencing. Right. So crayons sure. can be that outlet to, you know, hopefully for therapy. Oh, absolutely. Statistics shows that um, crayons and coloring is very therapeutic for mm -hmm. younger children. So I could only imagine if my daughter was in the hospital that those crayons would help her as she goes to her road to recovery. Mm -hmm. Sure. And not just hospitals, I would think in therapy settings, too. Definitely. For um, I know working with kids like I did for many, many years yes. and, and half the time they can't you know, verbalize what exactly. they're feeling. Mm -hmm. But you can hand them a piece of paper and some crayons, oh, yes. yeah. and they can draw what they're feeling. Absolutely. And it's a lot easier for them to get that, you know, outlet, which is such an important thing for kids to get. Definitely. Oh, yes. And so, locally, one oh. of our one big hospitals that actually gets those crayons is Shriners. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Here. And they yeah. get it from the Crayon Initiative. Nice. So it's that's, like, super awesome because we know that what we're doing is not only something that we're doing globally, but it's something that's impacting Hawaii locally. Mm -hmm. Because our right. concept is really to um, what act local. It's think global, global and act, act local. local which I is like that. One, yeah. It's one of the mottos for the oh, yeah, and a tongue tire too. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Think, yes. wait, think global, act, act local. local. Because it all starts with us if we want to make a difference right. in our environment. Mm -hmm. Our saying between us yeah. is that there's no planet B, so there's no plan B. I love that. Exactly. Yeah, I read about that when we were going back and forth yeah. a little bit. There's no plan B, there's no planet B, exactly. so there's no plan B. we got to exactly. take care of what we got. And it takes Boy. everyone coming together as a community to right. make that global effort to cut down on straws and 
make the effort to make our environment a better place. Right, exactly. no more plastic bags. Exactly. All of those, and every little thing that each person does mm -hmm. Goes together and then yes, mm -hmm. it does. builds up, and it then does, pretty Cynthia. soon everybody's doing it. Yes, and we can really save our earth. And that, mm -hmm. you know, out there, I'm always talking about how we're not alone. No one's alone, mm -hmm. and and this is a perfect example of how each one of us can do that little bit mm -hmm. to help. And Absolutely. once we do that, it all adds up, and mm -hmm. then pretty soon we're golden, right? Oh yeah. And climate change is such a definitely. A giant. Oh, it's thing. real. It's we, real. We say at the Miss Earth um, organization, and that's the organization that um, I'm with, and I have a privilege of serving with our um, president, Laura. And her heart is to change the world one day at a time. Mm -hmm. And that whole Think Global Act Local, it came from um, them this summer to allow our girls in the pageant, because I am an executive director for Hawaii, Guam, and Alaska. It allowed those girls to come together and put their voice on something that's actually changing the world, mm -hmm, which right. is an awesome way to do it. Another thing I wanted to tell you was our motto at Miss Earth is beauties for a cause. So, oh, nice. Yes, I like that. Yeah, that's our great. staff, our organization, they're really big on making sure that the world understands that it's not just a whole bunch of beautiful faces yeah, that right. are participating inside of right. our pageant and in the organization, but they have a cause that they're trying to get out there that's going to change the world. It mm -hmm. is right. changing the world. Changing the world, yes, right? Yes, it is. So does each girl have her own cause? Is that the way that works then? Yes. So like you're, okay. So what made you pick this one? You said, did you just hear about it and go, wow, <laughs> that's for me or what? Well, it's interesting because I, again, my background is working with anti-sex trafficking. And that was my platform right. for four years. I was going in strong and I still do participate in it. But I was Googling, okay, I know I want to join this pageant, but I want to broaden my expertise. There you go. Mm -hmm. And I decided to just Google platforms, you know. And crayons connect with me because when I was younger, I wanted to be a fashion designer for the um, longest time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I would, she already knows I had my yes, own company launched, Hunkadella. I was going to be on the market at New York Fashion Week. And I would sketch my designs with crayons. So Aww. I automatically connected with it. I decided that as a teen, I can not only inspire the youth, yes. but I can also connect with adults. Mm -hmm. right. And through this platform, I've gotten the opportunity to yes. connect with managers mm -hmm. at Denny's, IHOP's, Outback Steakhouses. Right. And as a teen, it's a little bit kind of nerve wracking, but it's also a learning experience it to is. just network and mm -hmm. get out there. You just have to like walk in cold and go, excuse me, my name is, <laughs> oh, yeah. how are you doing? Or we're just like, hey. hey, what do you do with your crayons? Yeah, right? it's the conversation going. <laughs> yeah. You're like, why do you care? You're 16. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she's actually made a huge difference as she's been um, collaborating with multiple uh, restaurants locally, mm -hmm, like nice. um, IHOP. We mentioned that earlier. Denny's. Ruby Tuesdays. Al Outback Steakhouse. Mm -hmm. Applebee's. All those places here locally have been really joining supported. in the effort mm -hmm. to make our footprint bigger in saving the earth, which is like really big for me right now is because what if there's nothing there for our children to mm -hmm. experience in the future? Who's going to come to Hawaii if Hawaii is just the beaches aren't as pristine as they could be because we're not taking care of them They're or the land. Trash. Yeah. Because the, land the Pacific, yeah, the Pacific oh, Ocean garbage patch is literally right in between California and Hawaii. Yeah. So a lot, and it's twice the size of Texas. So a lot of the trash right. winds up on our shores, and that's why I constantly promote on my Instagram, hey, participate in a local beach cleanup. Yes. You're going to the beach anyway, might Absolutely. as well clean it up. Oh, yeah. Leave with the bag, mm -hmm. always. Mm -hmm. Leave with more than you bring. Yes. Exactly. You know, there was, used to always be signs, you know, always bring back what you bring out. Right? Oh, or yeah. Never leave behind what you brought or whatever. And those mm -hmm. are like, no, no, no. I want to change those signs. Oh, yes, definitely. Please leave with more than you bring. <laughs> yes. Because right? there's always extra... You like my son has started a thing in Alabama on the shores down there. Nice. You have to pick up at least fifteen pieces of plastic every time you go. That's oh, smart. that's awesome! Mm -hmm. Right? That's awesome. So it's, he's just starting to get his friends, and he's you know putting it all over Facebook. Oh, and wow! It's like you go, buddy. I did oh, something yeah. right. He's impacting <laughs> at his level, and that's exactly right. what we mean at Miss mm -hmm. Earth is that anyone, um, and it doesn't even have to be just participants in Miss Earth, and you don't have to be a green activist. Yeah. It's just having that attitude and that heart to 
care about changing the world and keeping it a better for the people that will come after us. Right. Mm -hmm. Or anybody who's a parent who's got kids oh, who absolutely. broke their crayons and they're just going to chuck them because yeah. they're broken crayons. Because most people do chuck them. Yeah. Um, we had a project this past year with uh, Girl Scouts. Yes. And I'll let Jay talk a little bit about it. We had about 200 local Girl Scouts. They mm -hmm. brought in their crayons. They listened to her talk about reduce, reuse, and recycle. And it was huge, really big. Mm -hmm. And those... That little bit of information, bringing them up to speed as far as educational and awareness, allowed them to go out and even make a change. And she was able to distribute what patches? Yeah. So I, after they listened to my talk, <laughs> they <laughs> received moment. a crayon initiative patch nice. for their Girl Scout sash. And me Aww. being a Daisy back in the day, yeah, I, Girl Scouts for Life, it felt good to give back to my history and my roots. Absolutely, oh, Girl yeah. Scouts for Life. I was a senior scout, so I got okay. it. Oh yes, we on our project. Oh, yeah. yeah. My brother was an Eagle Scout. Oh, oh my yes, I'll do my, my best. <laughs> yes, and not only that. When we give them the training, they can receive a patch from Crayon Initiative, but they also can receive a patch from Crayon Collection. Mm -hmm. They both okay. organizations have produced patches because they both are passionate about getting the word out concerning crayons and not allowing them to go to the landfill. Right. Both founders of each organization mm -hmm. are super passionate, and we love to support them. And supporting both of them, it's good that they're not like comp competing oh, or no, they in have competition two, with each two other. Two different um, mission sets. You know, okay. one is focused on making sure the crayons that are usable get into schools. That's crayon, crayon collection. collection. Okay. And then crayon initiative is focused on taking the broken crayons, remelting them down, and getting okay. those out to hospitals. So two different organizations still accomplishing a Diverting mission. Diverting crayons from landfills. Yeah. Right. Oh, wow. Hey, I think we have a video we can watch a little bit about oh, more, yes. more sure about do. this. I think, I think we have time to watch that. Before. Crayons themselves are a powerful tool and the fact that everybody knows how to use them. It starts with opening the box and that pop of the box and then you get the smell of a crayon and you don't have to explain to them what to do with this tool. They just pick it up and they start coloring. Crayons seem to have that way with everybody that it either takes them back to a childhood memory or as a child they just know how to use them. The idea for the Crayon Initiative came from out at a restaurant with my kids and they were coloring on the menu. So then as a supply chain guy, I kind of questioned what would they do with these crayons afterwards? And we figured out that they'd just throw them away. So we wanted to figure out how we can take that resource that was being thrown away and put it into something else that was more meaningful. We want to get restaurants and schools and individuals to give back their crayons to us, where we work with groups to do the sorting, break them down into colors, and then from there we melt them and create new crayons. We'll box them up into eight packs with six colors of the rainbow, plus normally a pink and a brown color in an eight pack box, and then those boxes get donated back to children's hospitals. What I've learned about hospitalized kids, kids with chronic illness, is that they want to play, they want to go to school, they want to have friends, um, they want to do their hair, they want to paint their nails, they want to be a superhero, just like a normally developing child. They're no different. Creativity in play is so very important because they're in an environment that is abnormal. So when you give them the tools to sit down and really express what they're thinking and what they're feeling and what they're experiencing, it's very powerful. It means everything to them to actually have their own pack of crayons with tips on them. Most of the patients take our crayons home with them because it's the one good memory of that hospital stay and remember that it brought them happiness. There's an unlimited supply of crayons coming in and so if we can keep taking those crayons and making new ones, we can make sure that every children's hospital gets the art supplies that they need and the resources that they need through these crayons. That was amazing. Gotta love that people are doing these kind of programs mm -hmm. for kids, for the environment, for all of this. Well, we need to take a break. 
but we're going to be right back. So please don't go anywhere. Okay. I'm Cynthia Sinclair. This is Finding Respect in the Chaos. Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, host of Beyond the Lines. I was the head coach for the Punahou Boys varsity tennis team for 22 years, and we we're fortunate to win 22 consecutive state championships. This show is based on my book, which is also titled Beyond the Lines, and it's about leadership, creating a superior culture of excellence, achieving and sustaining success, and finding greatness. If you're a student, parent, sports or business person, and want to improve your life, and the lives of people around you, tune in and join me on Mondays at 11 a.m. as we go beyond the lines on Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha. Konnichiwa. Think Tech Hawaii ga Nihongo de Ogri Steimasu. Konnichiwa Hawaii. Host no Kunisei Kari des. My shu, Kakshu gets your bi. Niji kara des ne. Nihongo de Nihongo de Katsuaku Sarete i rasharu. Hawaii no Irona kata o maneki de. Welcome back to Finding Respect in the Chaos. I'm Cynthia Lee Sinclair, and I am here with Jade and Jasmine Baker, yes. two amazing women. <laughs> and we've been talking about the Crayon Initiative and the crayon collection programs and platforms that they have. Mm -hmm. But I want to talk a little bit more about the exciting news that you have, that gorgeous crown on your head, yes. and why you have it, <laughs> and where you got it, and all the details. Mm -hmm. And I know, Jasmine, you just were telling us in the first half mm -hmm. about how you're on the board, one of the directors. Um, yeah, so not on the Tell us more. Yeah. Yeah. So um, not so much on the board, but um, the staff and our president, Laura, she trusted me to take care of Hawaii as a director, oh, or what we call now a regional coordinator, mm -hmm. which is nice. super exciting. But not only Hawaii, I've um, adopted two other locations, which is Alaska and Guam. So most of the Pacific territory I'm now responsible for. And what I do in short is I come in contact with girls who really want to make an impact and change the world. And that's why the model is, again, like I said earlier, beauties for a cause. These girls want to get their voice out there and they want to save our planet. You'll often hear us as we chat here today, we'll say earth moments. Yeah. That's our time when we had an earth moment to figure out, okay, I can help change the planet. So that's pretty much what I do in a nutshell. That is amazing. So just recently you were in Vegas. I was. And you <laughs> left with the crown. So tell us about that. Or I came with a crown because it's a part of my regional stash. So I represent ah. Pacific Ocean. Oh, but right. Okay. I also live in Hawaii. So I had the opportunity to represent the whole region. Oh, and that wow. was pretty cool. I competed against and with 27 other teens mm -hmm. wow. that were all beauties for a cause. Absolutely. And it was just a really big learning experience mm -hmm. because I've never right. been surrounded by that many beautiful ladies that just wanted to get out there and advocate for something. Mm -hmm. oh, and wow. that's one of the many things I love about the system is oh, that absolutely. It, ins it inspires and encourages women to just get out there, educate themselves, because I'm going to be honest, before joining this pageant, I wasn't the most environmentally aware, mm -hmm. but it's opened my eyes to the amount of change that I can produce All right. at right. just my age and level. Yeah, but I sure. took home best overall an interview <laughs> right. and, and I'm not surprised I'm I not was surprised. scared in there but yeah it was a blessing and then I also got third runner-up wow I know. that's yeah. awesome it was oh, yeah. great oh my gosh out of all of those girls mm -hmm. yes that's remarkable yes. so can you come up with any of the, do you remember some of the other platforms that some of the other girls had that um some people worked with recycling plastics. Mm -hmm. Others got more in specific with um, microplastics on the oceans and the beaches and stuff, mm -hmm. especially okay. in the California region. Right. Invasive, Invasive plants and yeah, species, species and when, trees. Yeah, one of the girls that I was rehearsing with, she was in the elite division. So there's three divisions that, we, um, that were hosted in Vegas. So you have your elite miss, you have your miss, and you have your teen. Mm -hmm. okay. So all of these age divisions were there. I was rehearsing next to one of the elite misses, awesome. and she had poison ivy bite on her leg. Oh, or not but, bite, but like yeah, right, right, poison ivy had moved up her arm because oh, yeah. before a pageant, and this is how passionate these girls are, mm -hmm. and this is what just 
sparked my passion even more that I knew I was in the right place doing the right thing at the right time. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to her as they're doing an environmental project. So now they're in Vegas competing, but um, again, our staff set up this awesome environmental project for the girls to be able to give back. So they've traveled out here. I'm having this conversation with this awesome girl I've never met before because pageants built what? They built journeys and memories. And sisterhood. Hey, she's telling me how she worked in um, the forest clearing out the hiking way so that these evasive trees that had grown in and messed things up, they were there separating them before nationals. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I got poison ivy all up my oh, legs, no. all up my arms. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow, now talk about passionate. Mm -hmm. You know Still what I mean? Did. Oh, yeah. Exactly. And heels. Anyway. And competed. Six inch heels. Yeah. Oh. I love it. <laughs> I love it. It, it. it sparked something in me to say, you know what? We're doing the right thing. We need right. to get out there, mm -hmm. you know, and really make a change. Yes, absolutely. That's my that's my goal too: is to make a change, to make a difference, to yeah. to get my voice heard, that people know mm -hmm. they're not alone. Exactly. That there's hope. Absolutely. Like there's in, hope the chaos. Really. in the chaos. In the chaos. God is all good. In the exactly. Chaos. If we can just find it, and sometimes we have to look a little harder, mm -hmm. and then sometimes I meet. Women like you and I just go, yes, there's <laughs> hope for the world, you know? Oh, yeah. And I think that's an important thing to, to say to the world, mm -hmm. that there is hope out oh, there. Oh, absolutely. And it's easy to get discouraged mm -hmm. and to get downhearted about stuff, and especially about climate change. Oh, just yes. Just about all sorts mm -hmm. of things. But absolutely. when I see people like you, Jade, and I, I meet girls like you that, that have such a spark and a passion for these kinds of things, mm -hmm. Makes me know, ah, maybe the next generation will be okay. Oh, yes. Because sometimes I worry about yeah. that. <laughs> and then I need to That's two of us. That's two of us. <laughs> well, you're doing all kinds of stuff, too, though, with GEMS. And I want you to explain what GEMS is. To, oh, absolutely. So, to, to our viewers. Oh, yeah. So, GEMS, Girls Empowered and Mentor for Success, it's a sorority of girls who are focused on STEM. Um, most people that know me know that I do a lot of engineering. I'm an engineer. STEM, science, math, no, science, science technology, technology, engineering, and mathematics. mathematics. What do you know? I got it. And yeah. because that is so <laughs> important and it will be prevalent in the future, right now, right. most girls that are in school, only 10% of those girls are even interested mm -hmm. in STEM jobs, highly technical jobs. So what I do is by having this organization, I'm able to make STEM fun and I'm able to make STEM girly. You know, and just put my creativity inside of it. And those girls that join the organization learn a little bit more. But not only that, they give back to the community mm -hmm. um, wow. the way that they should. So I'm able to really roll into this, the Miss Earth uh, platform that I have personally, because I have my platform. She has hers. But mine's is the power of youth mentorship. Mm -hmm. I'm able to we mentor. We have a picture of you, I think. Oh, absolutely. I think we do. I'm able to That's still just mentor. just as beautiful as you yeah. are. Yeah. <laughs> my goodness, you are beautiful. She's but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm we have some pictures of the pageant too, right? And yeah, I don't want to run out of time, yes, right? Yeah, we gotta talk. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but oh, I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to yeah. miss all these beautiful. So that a, was Teen Miss West Coast. Her name is Carly. She was the bomb.com. She helped me through yeah. everything because it was like my second national. The bomb.com. <laughs> she's a local. By the way, That's she's cute. a local girl. Yep, and then Miss Washington and Louisiana, we were all pretty close throughout the pageant too. And it was just awesome to be surrounded by those girls. Mm -hmm. Nice, I think we've got a bunch of, we got some of you. That Look was during runway. Rocking so it. That dress is sponsored by Ashley Loren, and so are the, yeah, it's just the dress. Yeah. The dress gets she's sponsored our national. by somebody? Yes, our national sponsor. It a is great pretty designer. incredible yes. dress. Mm -hmm. And so, the earrings. Also, was oh, so yeah. everyone's dress got sponsored by the and yes. earrings. Oh, yours is way better. And I believe that oh, Sorry, everyone has go. the same, <laughs> Cynthia. But Sorry. that was, um, <laughs> I think that was when I got called for top 15. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I was shocked. Look at how composed you are, though. Oh, my gosh, you look gorgeous. Oh, my gosh, we were excited. Yeah. Absolutely. For all the girls. And that Look was at that. Evening gown. No, is that one sponsored too by someone, or did you get to pick that one out? It was sponsored by true my elegant. mom's store. Uh, yeah. My local Good job, store. Mom, exactly. That is true yes. elegance. Is mm -hmm. right. I wanted to go for a ball gown because I'm kind of petite and I didn't want to look so small on stage. So I was like, I need some volume. <laughs> Give me. A, you got some volume. Girl. You got some a lot volume. of volume in that thing. You definitely got some volume in exactly. that. Exactly. 
Now, I know I didn't want to miss out on these pictures and stuff, but I do want to hear a little bit more about gems so mm -hmm. that, that girls that are listening or moms that are listening mm -hmm. or, or even dads too, right? Um, yeah. can help to get their kids involved in this. Their daughters can get involved in, in GEMS. Oh, absolutely. How do they go about doing that? Okay, so they can also go to our Instagram page. Our Facebook page is GEMS Honolulu. Okay. And they can go to the website, www.gemshonolulu.com. And they can inquire. And then they'll get me or one of my helpers on the phone, talk about it and get their daughter or son enrolled. Mm -hmm. That sounds perfect. And it sounds like such an amazing program, oh, yeah. too, that... That we really need, since things are going towards technology mm -hmm. now, everything is going more towards technology Absolutely. Now. And so it's important to get women involved in it so that mm -hmm. men don't dominate the field anymore. Exactly. Because that's how it leads to women getting lower incomes yes. and all of that, getting paid less, mm -hmm. getting less opportunities. Yes. So the younger you start, right, the yes. better your chances of being successful later on. Mm -hmm. And also being that 80% of the jobs in the future will be STEM jobs. It right. allows our girls to get ready for it and our guys and be on the forefront of the problem and enjoying it. And hopefully they'll be giving back like I gave back to them and it'll just be that spiral effect. Right. Oh, my gosh. Which is exactly what we hope for, right? Oh, yes, absolutely. That's always what we hope for. I am just hoping that the crayon collection and the crayon initiative. Yes, we actually and, have boxes. Oh, look, we have boxes to yeah. show. Yeah. See, that's what you're looking for, people. <laughs> so right? this is the crayon collection box. And you'll see th these throughout low-income schools that help us out in our initiative of collecting the crayons. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and then you'll see these little babies along with the boxes my daughter showed you. You'll see those at some of the local restaurants that have one-time use crayons. And this is Crayon Initiative. And Crayon Initiative is the one that does the melting down and yes. the remaking. Yes. And these are the ones that they take them and they give them to Title give them One to schools, schools. Crayon yeah. and give them to the can they give them to the hospitals oh, yes. and things like that, mm -hmm. right? Or they focus on low-income schools. schools. Low-income schools. And then schools. this one focuses on, on the hospital. Mm -hmm. On the hospitals and stuff. That is awesome. I know we're just about out of time. Oh, yeah. I wish we had more time. Oh, it seems yes. like there's so We always many. have so much yeah. fun. I know. We do so. In a little while, you're going to have to come back again and yes. tell me how things are going. Keep yes. us all posted yes. on everything. Absolutely. About. I wish you just the best of luck. The best of the best of luck. Thank you, Cynthia. I think you deserve every <laughs> accolade that you get. Without a doubt, you are gorgeous, and you have your head and your heart in the right place. Absolutely. And I think that's Thank important. You, Cynthia. And, and hit me up on Instagram, uh, Miss Hawaii Earth, if you want to participate in our upcoming year pageant. 2020. 2020. There you go, 2020. <laughs> thank you, Jasmine. Well, thank you for thank having you us. Thank you so much. Jade, thank, thank you, you so much. Us. I'm so glad you guys came out. Oh, and I'm glad that everybody out there joined us. This was a really fun show to have. And I really, I hope that you guys will follow up on this. And find out more about the Crayon Initiative and the, the cl Crayon Collection, sorry, and Gems mm -hmm. and Miss Earth, Miss <laughs> Pacific Earth, all of it. It's all wonderful. And I'm so glad you all joined us. So I am Cynthia Lee Sinclair, and this is Finding Respect in the Chaos. Please come and see me again next week.